Hey, hey, welcome back to Don't Run With Scissors. My name is Kelly. This is my channel here on YouTube. Otherwise, that has been taken over by us cross stitchers and we call it Floss Tube. So welcome, welcome back. It is Monday the um, 22nd of November. I don't know where it's gone. Not a clue. So welcome to my channel. Um, totally didn't start it the way I thought I was going to start it. Sorry about that. So let me just give you the, the rundown. I hope that I am your favorite. Jeep driving mom of twins, three crazy, crazy rescue dogs. I was going to tell you cats, but I don't have cats. No cats. Um, so three crazy rescue dogs, crazy rescue dogs. Um, I got to find... Find out the sign for, for rescue. I don't know it. Um, who likes to craft in my spare time, which we all know I have copious amounts of. <laughs> Training for Iron Man and I went back to school to learn ASL. What the heck am I doing? I don't know. Um, so if you're new here, welcome. If you wouldn't mind, go ahead, hit, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. It sends me a message. It boosts my self-esteem. Some days we all need that. And in the middle of the, you know, we're still technically, I think, in the middle of the, well, not in the middle. Hopefully we're towards the end of the pandemic. Or, or as a friend of mine calls it, the great panini. The great panini. I'd much rather have a panini than a pandemic. So, um, you know, we all need that little boost of self-esteem. So, you know, go ahead and do it. If you're not new here and you're returning, welcome back to the crazy. I'm the floss tube that you watch when you want to feel like your your life is really normal and you're in control of it. Because clearly I'm not of my own. And that that's just the way it is. Um, so, yeah. Um, so Friday I had another round of injections in my back, um, in my lower back. The insurance requires that I do it twice to prove that the first time wasn't just a fluke. So I endured it a second time. It worked out great. I came home, well, I stopped and ran a couple errands. Um, you'll see what I bought. Um, it's, I have a massive purchase. You guys are going to be like falling over from shock with my purchase this week. Um, came home and I biked for three hours and I didn't think my back was going to hold out for three hours. So I just got out in my sweatpants thinking I'll ride. I don't need bike shorts, right? Wrong, wrong. So my tukis, my, my, my dupa, as we call it here in this house, dupa, your dupa, my dupa kind of gave out long before my legs and my back did because I didn't put on bike shorts and I'm an idiot. So the other thing is, you know, I have a lot of shirts that I, okay, all of my shirts are either really and truly, they're, they, they fall into three categories. It's very easy to know. Like, I, I'm, I'm a creature of habit in case we have not figured this out here yet. Um, so they're either usually plain black because I can get away with wearing them, like, especially during Zoom hearings, I can get away with them with just throwing on like a sweater with them and a scarf and be fine for court um, on a casual day. Or they're race shirts. Or they're a shirt with like either a political or a funny saying on it. Most of mine raise awareness about something or, or that. So the first time I went to get the injections, I had a shirt that says, um, it's from a, a, a website called Fellow Flowers, which I absolutely love. And um, they sell some of the greatest sayings on t-shirts. And they also sell flowers. And each color of the flowers, there's 13 of them. And I have all 13 of them represent um, a different thing. So one could be, uh, like I have a silver one and that represents a silver lining and finding the silver lining in things. And so we as runners, at least in this area or in this state, I think it's 
they're out of Wisconsin, like on the Wisconsin, Michigan border. Um, we wear them at runs and you kind of identify each other. And it's just like this, this camaraderie between with us. So they have a shirt and it says courage. And then the line, so courage over fear. And I wore that the first time. And the lady's like, okay, where'd you get your shirt? I tell them, they're like, okay, we're going to go order. I was like, awesome. So last time I go in and, um, what was my shirt? What shirt did I have on? It says, what are you training for on it? It's also, I think from fellow flowers, now that I'm thinking about it. It says, what are you training for? And then underneath it, it says life motherfucker. No, that is not the one I wore. I lied. I lied. I wore my wreath, my shirt um, that says "Not today, motherfucker." And I apologize if that like I get it if you if you don't curse, but that's what the shirt says. And in the background, it looks like blue scribble. But what it is is it is the um, activity tracker watch, her Garmin data, from a woman who was um, attacked while out running, and she literally said to her attacker, "Not today." And she fought him off and escaped. And they did find him. And he was convicted of attempted rape and assault and battery, I believe. And so in the background, that it's the data from her fighting him off and getting away. So I wore that shirt. And they're like, oh, my God, where did you get your shirt? And I'm like, Amazon. Um, here's the story behind that. And they're like, oh, my God, we need those. Do you think? I'm like, they're like, I wonder if they're like, can we get away with those at work? It was a conversation. I'm like, yeah. Probably not. Probably not. I could be wrong. You could be like, good surprise me, but I'm thinking not. Now, in my office, I can get away with it as long as, even if I'm just meeting with most of my clients, um, they expect that. Like, they understand that, they, that they're going to get that. Um, so I go in this Wednesday, and I haven't figured out what shirt I'm going to wear. Because clearly, they're all waiting to see what shirt I'm going to wear. And I, I, I'm not quite sure yet. So we'll see. It'll be, a, you know, I don't know. Um, it'll be good. You know, so yeah. Um, I've been wearing my orange I Stand in Solidarity shirt way more than I would like to. Um, so what I have decided to do in my brain, and usually it works out, um, it represents that I stand in solidarity with native indigenous people and especially with um, those who have survived or lost their lives to residential schools. And sadly, you know, they've excavated, I want to say in Nebraska just recently and found another over a hundred children buried. Um, the numbers of children that were murdered. I, I just, I, it, my brain has a hard time wrapping around it. Um, so every time I, like, if I know ahead of time that they're going to excavate a school site that day, I tend to wear, I try to wear that shirt. Um, if I don't find out till afterwards and they're t like, and I find out the numbers that I wear that shirt that like, as soon as I know, I think it's just important. Um, I have one too for MMIWs that I wear. Um, I wear a lot of shirts regarding ending rape culture and an awareness about rape, um, rape survivors. That, that's a big one. I just got a new one that says um, neurodiversity and it's got really pretty flowers on it. Um, so yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna wear on Wednesday. I'll let you guys all know next week. I'm, I'm kind of freaking out. The last ones were just injections. It wasn't too bad, but this, this Wednesday, they're going to go in and actually burn those nerves off. And hopefully we won't have to do that for another year, which would put us after Iron Man and after Bear Lake next year. Next year would make five years in a row that we raced Bear Lake. I would really like to hit the official 50K, if not further. Um, I am not going to, I know I would not be in a position where I could do a hundred miler. Then again, stranger things have happened. Um, if it was a bike race, I'd be down for it. We could do it. We could do a hundred miler. That wouldn't be a big deal. 
Um, the other thing is I've added another goal. Somebody sent me a TikTok. Somebody put shoes on a duck, on a duck, and the duck ran the New York City Marathon. I need to be able to run a marathon faster than a duck wearing shoes. These are my life goals. <laughs> Don't. Again, welcome to the crazy. If you're not used to me, I'm sorry. This is me. Okay. So that said, Nigel is fitting in very well. Um, he definitely needs a little sweater. He is a brat. Um, so the funny thing is Nigel can't get up on my bed. And so then he sits at the end of my bed. He sits on the floor and he, he cries. Um, now, my bed is not much higher than either one of the kids' beds. Probably, well, it's a good foot higher than William's bed. Um, he can get up. He's managed to figure out how to get up into their beds, but he can't figure out how to get in mine. So, yeah. So, then him and Maisie fight. My big girl, Lizzie, she takes up the, the foot of the bed. I mean, she's 100 pounds. She, she's, and she's an older girl. Um, she's pushing 10. Um either 10 or 11. So she, she sprawls. Um, the two little dogs fight over which one can sleep closer to me up with their pillows. So they're still trying to work that out, but I don't generally let them sleep all night in my bed just because I can't sleep that well with them. So, um, I have been doing paperwork. Um, I've got some, had a new client in last week. I've got one coming in Friday to pay his retainer. So there's a lot going down. I have done all the Thanksgiving day shopping as far as food products. I may have to go out and buy new Brussels sprouts, depending on how they, they work out these next couple days. Um, I cheated y'all just so y'all know. I bought Bob Evans pre-mashed potatoes. I'm not peeling mashed potatoes. I'm not mashing mashed potatoes. Hardly anybody eats them. Bean doesn't eat them. I don't really eat them. Like I'll eat some, but I won't eat a whole lot. Um, the boy child will eat some, but he doesn't eat a whole lot. Like, so I just bought the family size container. I'm done. Um, my stove, my, so my stuffing recipe, I, I literally, I, saute um i don't know if i told you guys i saute um onions mushrooms and celery in a pan with some butter and i make stovetop i make a package of stovetop sometimes usually i make two because the boy child will eat like the whole thing then i cut so then when the stovetop is made into it i dump the celery onion carrots or carrots celery onions mushrooms i also throw in an egg um shredded and usually I get the like the the fancy shred shredded cheddar cheese um and then I, I chop up fake crab meat of all the weird things like I know it sounds weird I stir all of that up I spread it in a casserole dish and this year I'm using tin foil pans not even lying tin foil pans this year I throw on some more butter like pats of butter and more cheese and I bake it in the oven until the cheese and stuff gets kind of like all melty and, and the edges of the stuffing get like crunchy like they're supposed to. It's so good. <laughs> like that's my stuffing recipe, okay? So and then um so my my biscuit recipe that my stupid brother still doesn't know what I do. So I have a pampered chef baking stone. I actually have two. I have a round and a square one with a lip on it. They are the best investment ever. Okay, so I buy the Grand's Flaky Biscuits. I'm not even kidding you guys. Like, my brother has no clue that this is what I do. I tell him it's a secret recipe. I cannot share it. I got it from somebody in law school, which is not true. Um, the one recipe I do have from a law school friend that is absolutely out of this world is an apple pie um, that I make regularly. <laughs> so I'm like, I can't share it with you. I absolutely can't share it with you. Okay, so I'm sharing it with you guys. So you get out your baking stone. And I think that's the key to this is honestly, you got to have a baking stone. And you put your, your biscuits on there and then you melt some butter. And if you're feeling really bougie, chop up some fresh parsley 
and a little bit of garlic. And you stir that into your butter and then you brush the top of your biscuits and you bake them like the pop, like the, the dark directions say, honestly, like I'm so, like, this is how I bake. Okay. So the flip side is I had every intention of making a homemade pumpkin roll because I made my, I made it for the first time myself last year and it turned out really, really well. And I was like, going to make one this year and nope, I bought one at Walmart. Actually, I bought two. I bought them at Walmart. I'm going to put them on a tray. Sprinkle a little powdered sugar on the tray. Call it a day. I baked. Mm -hmm. Me and Senor Walmart. Me and Sam. Okay. So Thanksgiving is, is going to be fairly easy. Like I said, I bought aluminum foil pans for everything. For most things. I, I, I'm just... Yeah. And I'm planning on wearing stretchy pants. And kind of chilling out and stitching and maybe um maybe we'll rent a movie to watch and chill out but I, i'm really i'm it, i am not planning on it being a major thing okay so let's do haul first and my one weird haul thing you're gonna have to go check out my instagram at his princess kelly um i bought an old cigarette machine and you're probably going, why? Why would anybody buy a cigarette machine? Okay, I bought a cigarette machine because what people are doing is um, converting them and they're selling little, you can fit basically a small jewelry box size into each slot. And so they're selling art out of them and they're turning them into like little art machines. And I have been wanting one since I saw that people were doing this for forever. I found, actually a sorority sister found it for me. Um, and my son and I went and got it on Sunday. It's smaller. It's not like the big, huge ones that I remember as a kid. It's a smaller one, but it is going to be perfect in the office. So I'm going to refinish it. They have some contact paper on it. I'm going to strip all that down. I need to, um, I'm going to open it up and try and figure out like the model number and stuff so that I can search and see what it originally looked like. Cause I'd kind of like to take it back to that. Um, and then it will go, there's a national registry apparently, and it may be worldwide, but I know it's for sure in the U S where you register, where your machine is located and people search them out, which I think is so cool. So, um, I'm going to be making like little things to stick in. And another friend of mine who's very crafty, um, she's going to also, she said she'd help me fill it up with different little crafty things. So that's very cool. Um, and I'm super, super excited. So that was my big haul. However, I did also buy um, some stitchy related things. And that's stitchy related because some of the things that will go in the, the little boxes will um, be little stitches, like little bookmarkers. But I also bought the, um, there's a seller on Etsy and she does the little cross stitches of um, famous artworks like the Mona Lisa and, um, Salvador Dali and all this other stuff. So I have those patterns because I think she did, um, if I recall, she, you could buy them all as like one big file. Um, and it was on sale at one point and it was just, it worked out and I just did it. So I think that's what I have. I will have to look, but I'm pretty sure. So I'll probably do some of those. Um, Taryn does a lot with epoxy and her cricket and things like that. And she, does she, I don't think she has a glow forge, but she can cut, she's cut chipboard and, and like balsa wood and stuff on her, on her machine. So she said she'd help me with those. So that's kind of cool. Okay. So the other thing that I did, the only other thing that I have for haul is three skeins of DMC because I was, um, running very low on, these three for 99. So in order to be able to go ahead and finish 99, I needed to pick those up. So I did that. Okay. So stitching, sorry. Okay. So here's the other thing. If you guys aren't familiar with stash T, sorry, Nigel tried to jump up and just miss. Come on, ding dong. Come on. Come on, Nigel. Come on. All right. Well, don't just look at me like I'm crazy.
Okay. Nigel's up in his home. Oh my god, the other day, Lizzie went from the couch and sat on the armchair of my chair. Like she was the little dog, because not long before that, I had Maisie on one side, Nigel on the other, blinking me like little gargoyles. Um, where was I? Oh, stash tea, yeah. So this is the strawberry pomegranate tea. It's so good. I love their tea. I have several of their teas, and um, they're different flavors, and I love them all. Um, so yeah, even their lemon ginger, when I'm not, when I'm really, like, when my tummy is really kind of, um, and I don't have Verner's in the house, because I'm from Michigan, so, you know, Verner sells all things, um, I will, I will drink the lemon ginger. I do add a little bit of honey or sugar to it, though, that one, because it's a little zippy, um, it said ginger zip, if that makes sense. Okay, so anyways, let's get on with things. We had a giveaway last week, and I was super, super excited because there were a lot of new names on there um, that were on my, on my thing, and I was super excited to see everybody because, you know, um, they were new people. So there were four people that used the word goal for the calendar. So I, I got the tiny decisions app. Got that you can see. So there we go. So I'm going to, I'm going to spin it. And, um, Daphne Chamberlain. Can you see that? I don't know. I'm like, ding, I'm a dingling. Okay. So Daphne, so message me on Instagram, your address, and I will pop that in the mail. Um, I have a couple other things that need to go out this week. So hopefully by Friday, I will, um, I will pop that into the, um, into the post office for you. Um, because yeah, because you won. So I'm super excited. Yay. Um, so, all right. So we've gotten the giveaway done. I got whole done. Got the dog updates. I got the office update. Oh, my hearing test. I kind of, I'm not surprised. I need hearing aids. Um, so now we were trying to figure out how much the insurance is going to cover and, and some other things. Um, and so, yeah, and that's, um, and who I have to go through with my insurance and, low staff because it's a holiday week and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, we'll see. Maybe by Christmas. Who knows? I don't. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Um, the other big thing before I forget, and I will say it again at the end because I'm super, 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 super excited. Did I tell you guys I'm really excited? So, my friend has started a candle company with his son. Um, they are called Hillbilly Candle Company, and you can go to hillbillycandlecompany.com. And I have been working so hard with them as far as writing descriptions and all kinds of things. As much as I can do long distance, um, I've been trying to do to really support them. So if you could go and buy a candle and share the site um, on your in and like them on Instagram um, and spread the news or spread the word, that would be really, really great. I would really appreciate it. Um, I really want to see his son um, be successful. And I know that would mean a lot to my friend who is just busting his butt to, to make this happen and to help his son do this. Um, so yeah, so it's very exciting. I placed my order. I got to place the very first official order and that was like really, I was excited. Um, so I should have mine any day now. I bought one of every single cent. Right now there's seven cents, although they, I think uh, there might be two more new ones coming. Um, so I cannot wait to have my order. Um, the other thing that, okay, so that's a big one. I got to do the t-shirts for them. Um, 
the other thing that I'm looking for, and this is going to sound so, 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 so bizarre. Please don't think I'm crazy. Okay, we all know I am a little bit. Okay, so I have epoxy to do like different things. You know, okay, let's just start off by I have ADHD. So it is very typical for somebody with ADHD to come enthralled with a subject and want to buy all the things to do it and do some of it. And then the newness and the adrenaline and the serotonin and the dopamine rush is gone. So we move on to the next thing. Okay. So that said, understand that I come from that base. Okay. So, and then we were also looking at doing different flooring for di like for my son and my daughter's room. And my son, as you all know, is a music major. So now he's talking about being food service and hospitality management, which, because he wants to open up jazz bar. Which honestly, I think is a better plan for him. I think he's much like, although he sucks at cleaning up after himself when he cooks. But I think that that is, anyways, wherever he lands, he lands. I'm going to support him anyway. But he wanted his room done in, in music. It's a music themed room. Absolutely. So at one point we were going to get a bunch of old um, CDs and records and sheet music and stuff and put that on the floor and then put the epoxy over it. Well, we decided like, okay, for, if I'm going to rent this out after I buy a real house, um, you know, not many people are going to want to meet, like, do you really want a floor like that? If you're like, and if I sell, then that's really going to be a deterrent. And so we decided not to. So now I have this gallon of epoxy resin that I can like make up. So, um, I saw on TikTok, because if I don't see it on Instagram, I see it on TikTok. And it beats my ADHD. And it's bad. But this woman makes these little, like, gemstones. And they're not big because she puts them into, like, rings. Or she makes them into um, pendants. But they're small. And they look like little, like, rhinestones kind of thing. But what she'll do is she'll take like a love, like a snippet of a loved one's piece of clothes and she'll layer that and then the epoxy over it. Or sometimes like if they've been cremated, like if it's your dog, she'll do your, like the ashes in there. And I just think that's really, really cool. And I want to do that, but I don't know where to find the little rhinestone molds. And I don't know what size I'm looking for, if that makes sense. So I'm worried that like I'm going to buy it and I'm going to end up with like a, 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 a mold that's like for a, a stone like this big and I don't want it to be that big because that big on my hand I, I don't want that big I just want it little little okay so um darn it and then Bean and I had the sign of the week because we've done helicopter we've done run we've done Yes. I had it. I was like, that's my new favorite. Oh, cockroach. Cockroach. Don't ask me why we know that, but we haven't officially learned the sign for like, oh, we just learned the word sign for nervous. But this is cockroach. And that's my new favorite side of the week. Cockroach. So I just thought I'd pass that along because if I have to learn a sign for cockroach, why can't you guys help? Cockroach. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. So that's enough of my rambling. Let's get to why you're really here because you really could. I I'm sure some of you do care about like. I, I don't mean that to be mean what's going on in my life. And I feel like so many of you, because we connect on Instagram, some of us are in different groups together. And if, you know, if you're on Facebook and send me a friend request, like welcome to the crazy, you can get the crazy 24 seven. Um, you know, I, I feel like you are 
Like you're in my bubble. You're you're my family. Like you're in that family bubble. Like here we are. This is where we're at. Um. So yeah. So that. So welcome. Welcome to the crazy. Okay. So we still kept with the same three main focus. Um. Actually, the only three things I've been stitching on, and I kind of rotate them. I will tell you that when two out of the three are done, I'm not going to miss them at this point. I know that sounds really bad, but I'm just so over them. Um, usually when I have a bigger project or something that's like got a lot of back stitching on it, I don't have a deadline so I can set it down and I can kind of like come back and do a few more and then, but I'm rotating and now I, I don't have that rotation because I've got deadlines and it's sort of a mood killer as far as stitching. So on that sense, we have Pikachu up first. Pikachu is, um, I have been working away on him. Um, I have a feeling that Wednesday I'll be able to, this will probably be my go-to just because there isn't a whole lot of thinking involved in it. Um, because it's all stamped, but like he actually looks like Pikachu coming through finally. And I added in a bunch of this, um, like pinky white down here. And we came through with more of the like dark blue here. So we really are, I mean, for the amount of time, I mean, I think I, I now, I think I'm at the two month mark, but this is two months of working on it. Plus other thing, you know, I, I have been stitching other things. So he is coming along. Um, is Pikachu a boy? I don't know. Beam would know. I don't know, but whatever, we're getting closer. Um, now I'm getting to the point where it's like, okay, I can stitch until I have, like, I'm almost at another color finish and that gets exciting. Um, so, okay. That said, the other thing that I have been trying to really plow through and get done because I've got to get it assembled and I've got to get it in the mail with the other couple things that I've got for my little secret pal is my little gingerbread house. Oh my God, you guys, so much back stitching and it's hard to see. I know you can't really see it. There's all this like lacy. Yeah. Plus all the beads. So we're now officially panel one is done. Panel two is actually almost all stitched. And then I've got all the back stitching and then the roof. Y'all, in order to have this out in time, because it's got to go out, I, it's got to go out fairly soon. The The roof is all stitched and backstitched and beaded and everything, and I would love to do that. That would take me probably another month or two, if I'm really being honest with myself. And, and so then... It's like, well, do I set this whole project aside and try and whip up a different ornament that's going to go, like, I, I don't know how that's going to go. Um, I got another, I got a order from a friend of a friend that she needs something st stitched for Christmas. Well, really the week before Christmas because she's got to have time that she's going to frame it herself. And then I've got my sorority secret squirrel gift to put together, but I don't necessarily have to stitch for that one. Um, I may do, whip up another one of the JBW squirrels for, like I did last year for a different person. Um, because they go, that goes super fast. I mean, it was like, I think two hours worth of stitching if that, um, and I have some other cool things to stick in the box for her. So, um, the other thing that I have been working on that I absolutely love. And this one is one of those, like, I want to keep working on it, but then at the same time, like I don't, because I don't want it to end, even though I've already decided I'm going to stitch it at least once more. Cause you know, why not? Um, so that is ink circles 99. So we are on the last two pages officially. There's only this row and then two more. And I've actually started um, because that makes, this is where the page ends. It's the first six bottles. 
So I came down here and was doing this bottle tonight. I'm going to finish that bottle before I go to bed. So then I have, we'll put it in the shelf and then there's another row. So there's 11 and a half more bottles on this page, right? So six and six is 12. So 11 and a half more bottles on this page. And then we go to the final page. Like who would have thought, it, but it is so cute. Like look at that. Like, how is that not cool? I, I like, seriously, I, I love this piece. Um, so I'm super, 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 super excited about that. And like I said, I don't want it to end because I absolutely love it. Um, so I feel like somebody out there has to have the answer to this. And I don't know why, but I think that either Jen, Jen Lee from Quirks and Stitches should know for some reason. And I don't know why I think that she should know. There's no reason for me to think that she should know. But I just feel like if anybody knows, it's probably her. But has anybody, like, we've all coffee and tea dyed stuff, which is so much fun. But has anybody ever used beer or, like, a stout to dye their fabric? I feel like I want to try this. What is your thoughts? I mean, worst case scenario, I just throw some coffee in there. My fabric that smells like beer, I, I mean, like, I could, you know, if it doesn't turn out, I could wash it and then just tea dye it, right? But I feel like when I stitch this again, I want my background to be a little bit more, um, like, the a rich brown. Not a dark, dark brown, though. But like there's been times where like that because it's a cream color, Ada, if my stitching, if like there's one of the bottles that's all white and it, you, it's really, it's a little tricky to see. And I, I just feel like I want it to be a little bit darker. I know that the beer bottles do not fit in the theme of my living room. And right now it doesn't really go with, okay, it really doesn't go with anywhere in my house, but you know what? I don't care. I really like it. So, um, I still have not bought the beer bear, bear, beer barrel. Um, so I still have to do that. So the plan for the next week, I have a couple assignments to get ready. I want to, I actually want to go through and just finish all the assignments that I can. And so that all I have to do is worry about, I think probably two more tests. Um, in the one class and one in the other. I want to, I actually want to finish, the kids and I are gonna finish painting the living room here. I gotta put plastic on the porch windows and a couple windows in here. Um, I moved one of the bookshelves, even though it's not painted, it's gonna be there. Although I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna move the one shelf down um, so I can start kind of putting pictures and, and stuff in there. Um, it's really got to all depend on how I feel after this procedure. He did warn me that I will probably kind of feel almost worse for at least a week or two after, which totally has me freaked out. Um, my furnace is working fantastic. I have another guy coming tomorrow to help me with the clog in my sink. I can't get this one screw off. It's not a screw. The one like thingy. I can't get it loose. I don't, I don't know how it got so tight, but I can't get it off. And until I, because I can't get it off, I can't get the snake through it. So frustrating. So they're coming tomorrow and they're also supposed to give me a price on fixing, um, a section of my subfloor that got damaged when my air conditioner, when the window air conditioner leaked. So, and the boy child has a concert tomorrow. So Usually when he has a concert tomorrow, I try to, lately I've been taking Pikachu and working on, um, you know, blocks of color. So I don't know what I'm going to stitch tomorrow, but that's where we're at. Uh, let's see. Otherwise, that that's really and truly everything. Um, mostly, I just want to wish everybody 
who lives in the States, happy American Thanksgiving or Indigenous People Day. Um, you know, as more and more is coming out about understanding what Indigenous people have have endured and have suffered through. Um, I know that this year, the kids and I have, have talked about it at different points as well. Not celebrating the whole, hey, Christopher Columbus and the pilgrims and all of that, um, but using it as a day to really embrace our families and what we as, um, as a family are thankful for and all of the things that we really are blessed to have. Um, you know, even when things are tough, we're very, we're, we're surrounded by some great people who love and support us unconditionally. And I, I choose to focus on that. I choose to focus on ways that I can learn to not only amplify indigenous people and their voices or people of color and their voices, um, but how I can learn more about what they have been through and how to make sure that they have a place at the table and not just a place. Like it's okay to just go, Oh, look, you know, Hey, we have, you know, this American Indian tribe at the table at the discussion, but really making sure that they're heard and that their voice matters. Um, so that's kind of how I'm looking at Thursday and I, and how my kids are looking at Thursday. And I really challenge everybody to use Thursday as a day of not thinking about the pilgrims and the whole, you know, whitewashed history regarding what we've always taught, been taught about Thanksgiving, but really looking deeper. Um, so that said, I have, we, oh, oh, we are at over 150 books. Um, I have five actual hardcover books to sit down and read, not audiobooks. See, audiobooks are great because one, I have ADHD. And so I can stitch and, and still read, or I can do other things and still be reading. I can bike and read. When I have to actually turn pages and read, I actually have to sit someplace and, and like actually sit still. That's very difficult for me. Um, so I have five books, two of them, one is called deaf side story, which is like West side story, but it's, um, deaf people are one gang and hearing people are another. Um, so I have that book. I have one on the residential schools. I have the history. It's, so Gallaudet University is, um, I think it's the only deaf university in the world, definitely in the U S. Um, there are universities and colleges that have deaf programs that seem to have, um, a large deaf culture and deaf, a large deaf population, but Dal Gallaudet is, is the deaf university. They for a long time had a hearing president and there was a big protest that, look, we want a deaf president where a deaf university want a deaf university, a deaf president. So there was a big protest and there was a book about it. And I have that, I got that book. So that's there. And then there's a guy called, he called, he's nicknamed the Iron Cowboy. And his name is James. And I forget what James's last name is. And I have met him and I have several friends who have met him and he's a great guy. He is a phenomenal athlete. He did 50 Ironman distance races in 50 days. Um, I think he's actually beat that record now. It's crazy. So he wrote a book. I have that book. And then the other one is a cleaning, it's a book about cleaning and decluttering 
in healing trauma and why people who have experienced trauma in their life tend to have difficulty um, with clutter and holding on to things. And so those are my five books that I have right now. I just pre-ordered two more. <laughs> One is, um, they're both regarding World War II. One, I've been following her and her daughter. I started following them on TikTok. And it's not her daughter, it's her granddaughter. And now they're on Instagram and she's called the Redhead of Auschwitz. And she is a redhead. She's a spunky little old lady. Um, I mean, she's got to be in her 90s. And it's her story. And her granddaughter helped her write her book. Um, and they're just absolutely adorable. So if you're on Instagram, check them out. So I pre-ordered her book. And the other one that I pre-ordered is um, Signs. Is it Signs and Solidarity or Signs and Secret? And it is about a sister who is deaf and her hearing sister and how they end up, they're Jewish, and how they, um, you know, first of all, you're Jewish in the middle of World War II and you live in, in Germany, you're automatically targeted. Add to that, you know, you're deaf. And, and like the fact that these two women have survived, but it's their story. And I, it, so that was a pre-order too. Um, so I cannot wait. The other one that I have to order, um, go watch Bobby at Pumpkin P Creek Prince only because I cannot remember the flipping book's name. And I really want to remember it. And my brain is totally just, I can't remember it, but it's her friend. I want to say from high school, Bobby, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, she wrote a book and it sounds absolutely phenomenal. It sounds very interesting. Um, so I want to go and purchase that and I have not. So that is on my other list of things to do because you know, books actually part of me put off ordering Bobby's friends only because I'm hoping that it comes out on audible <laughs> and then I will buy it that way so that I can listen to it. And that's that, that really is the truth. Um, because again, it's easier for my brain to be able to process that. It's my brain works better when it's multitasking than when I'm single focused. Um, and so, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. So again, um, I will link below my friend's candle company. I will try and track down the links for Bobby's friend's book. I will pop that below Daphne get a hold of me on Instagram or, or however. Um, other than that, have a great week. If there's anything that I can do, even if it's just listening or you're making you feel like you're normal because I'm crazy, let me know. Again, I'm His Princess Kelly on Instagram. Um, I'm His Princess Kelly on TikTok shoot me a mail message, however you need to do that in order to get a hold of me if there's something I can do for you. Um, and yeah, with that, I'll talk to you guys later.